The majority of Christians believe Jesus is God. The majority. I, along with also millions of other Christians, I'm not the only one, don't believe that. That's where me and a Muslim can have a conversation and agree that Jesus is not God. That's the part that I missed. But what's your denomination then? You can be just Christian. And th- you can be Christian without believing that Christ is God. No, you can't. No, absolutely you can. It's the belief in Christianity. So I believe that Christ was the Son of God that came down to the earth and fulfilled His purpose. That's the belief in Christ, in Christianity. But I do not believe that Jesus is God. And and I can I can give you 50 different verses in the Bible. And you can give me 50 where you believe He is. Mm-hmm. But I can give you 50 where, where, where He says He's not, and then we're going to have to duke that one out. So, okay. So when I ask a person that believes that Jesus is God, uh, oh, it, it's God in the flesh. Yes. Okay, okay. Fine. So when he goes back to heaven, he's only God. Because if Jesus is God in the flesh, then he goes back to his natural power in heaven and he doesn't need the flesh anymore. Correct? Unpack that. Okay. So Jesus is God who became a human. Human. Yes. So then... His human body died. Body died. He, and he goes back to his natural power. Yes. Right? It's a triune God. The Holy Spirit, God the Father, God the Son. Jesus. But he goes back to heaven. If he was God only in the flesh... He sits right right on the right uh, hand by... He's the, God, though. He is. He's... One okay, God, so then three why, persons. So then why... When the apostles got down and started trying to worship him, he says, you only worship my father, you do not worship me. Because he was in the flesh. Uh, He was a human, part human, part God at that moment. So then, okay, so then why does the Bible say if he is God, then neither, not not even the son knows a time and day that Armageddon is going to come. Because he was a human at that point. Okay, so he was about to. So the Bible, but the, I understand that. So the Bible, but if he's God, how come he doesn't know that? Because he's human. Okay. At that point. At that point. So and, he's not. He's, so he's not he died. In, he's not God in, in, in the earth. No. At he, that point, he's no. only a man. He's a Messiah, yes. Okay. But he's the God right there. Okay, so then why is he sitting to the right of the Father? Because the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the, the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, it's all one thing. Says who? The Bible. Where in the Bible does it say that they're all one? Where, where in the Bible does the Bible talk about that they're all one? Keep in mind, I've read the Bible from, from, from Genesis to Revelation. I need you to specifically tell me where the Bible says they're all one. So there are only two options where you definitely not going to heaven, right? First, if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Number two, if you have uh, the mark of the beast. Okay. So it says that you can't blaspheme the, blaspheme the Holy Spirit. So it means something. On the other Hold hand, on. who says we're going to go to heaven? Bible says, if you be, you come to God through Jesus Christ, you, right. there is no other way to God to God right. to Father God uh-huh. if, not, if not through Jesus. So you believe that Jesus is going to judge after when we die, right? He's the ultimate judge, right? Right. But in the Bible, it says that only God can judge. So if you believe that Jesus, that was in the Old Testament. So. The Old Testament and the New Testament, that's the Bible. No, yeah, but the Old Testament was before Jesus came to set the new rules. He, he, correct. But the whole the whole Old uh, Old Testament is about the Messiah that is about to come. Right. So when the that's Messiah the difference came, with the Jews, so they don't Messiah, believe in Jesus. So when the Messiah came, yes. Jesus came, then he put a new set of rules. So he the, said he's about to so add, the, but add the Bible, something. The Old Testament are not just, their principles are not laws anymore. Because remember, that's then, a good okay, here we go then. What did Bible? What did Jesus say about fornication? What about multiple wives? How come King Solomon had multiple wives? King David had multiple wives. When the Messiah came, things changed. Because if that's the case, and the Bible contradicts itself, because if the Bible, the man says there's you can a only new be, covenant, correct? There's a new covenant. Yes, that's correct. What I'm saying so. That's the new covenant. So the new covenant comes with a new set of rules. Because if you say, well, it's all the Bible, and you have to take it all as one. The New Testament and the Old Testament, they contradict each other. 
the Old Testament is more like a history and the set of rules, but they're being adjusted when the Messiah came. Messiah came. Now hear me out. For instance, you're a Jew, right? You're Jewish. Right. I'm not Jewish, but yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I understand. I understand. (laughs) And you only believe in the Old Testament, right? Right. Then you read Deuteronomy. Yeah. What did it say about the uh, the ones who commit adultery? Yeah, of course. Stone them to death. Stone them to death. What about the gays? Stone them to death. Right. It doesn't mean Jews do that. That's like you're saying the King uh, Salman or King yeah, David. Yeah, David, thousand wives, concubines, and yeah. We're all sinners. Yeah. They committed sins. That's it. That's right. the only. I, I agree with you, but where we're where we're where we have a disagreement is, um, is the fact that Jesus multiple times multiple times made it clear that he had a father yes right yes and the bible when the skies opened up he says i saw jesus sitting to the right yes that's the son of god that's not god so if god it says by the way the bible and psalms eighty three eighteen says for the for the world to know your name is yahweh yes not jesus so yahweh is one it doesn't say so your name no, so the world may know that your name is Jesus Yahweh and the Holy Spirit. It says one name and that's it. There is no I'm not my father. I represent him and if and when I funerals happen, weddings happen, I'm sitting to his right because I'm his eldest son that's active in his life. My other brother is not I represent him. I understand that part of it. But the Bible never says that they're all one. Not once does it say that. Yeah. Now we can interpret it now. I know in all the comments because people are going to watch this and it always happens to me because I've read the Bible so many times. Oh, but you couldn't now. I could get what well, you could interpret that the same way that I can interpret it. I interpret that Jesus is the Son of God, that He is not God. And because I have Bible text to prove it, you can't say that I'm wrong. But I can also say that you're not wrong. It's just your interpretation. Because you can find Bible texts where He says, if you want to see the Father, you have seen Him. Right? You can yes, find those yes, texts. Yes. I can show you the same. Okay, here we go to there right now with that. You said, but he's God and in, 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 he's not God as a man. But then the, when they ask him, I want to see the Father, he says, You're looking at him. So he's calling himself God at that moment if he's not. So I can do the same thing back. Does that make sense? The whole Trinity is super complicated. No, but, it, but, it, no, but it's not, though. That's the thing about it. It's complicated. But I can tell you the same thing, and and that's where that's where me and Muslims actually agree on. I don't believe that Jesus is God. So that's why. So in our last podcast, that's where I said all oh, Muslims and Christians. What I forgot to leave out, which was very, very, very important, was that ninety five percent of Christians believe that Jesus is God. Us other five percent don't believe that. So therefore, I am more in accordance to the belief that Jesus is not God, and that's where I could get along with Muslims on that part. Like, hey, there, he's not God. Jesus is not God. Yeah, I agree with you. Yep. Now, I don't agree with their beliefs, a lot of their beliefs. I don't believe in a lot of, I don't believe in what they, a lot of things they have going on. I also don't believe that Muhammad was a prophet either, though. I don't believe it. Like, because our book says that there's going to be a lot of false prophets. And I believe I don't believe Muhammad was a prophet. So that's where, like, we only agree with, I only happen to agree with Muslims in one thing. Jesus was not God. I agree with you. After that, we don't agree. So Muslims. in Genesis, it says, God created uh, a the man in the earth. And uh, he created a man in, in our, our, our image. What does it mean, our? So who is he talking to? You, I, I have the answer. Tell me, what's your opinion? Well, uh, no, who's no, no. our? Who's us? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So, with more reason, how do you say that Jesus is God if He's talking to somebody else in a third party? In our means, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and Son no, of God. No, he's talking Jesus to somebody. Christ. So he's talking to himself. If they're all one, he's talking to himself. In our, in our image. Okay, so if you talk right now, I, I, your son, right? I met your son when he was four years old, or four, four five, and a half. Five and a half. He's five and a half now. Yeah, yeah. When I met him, he was four and a half. Yeah. It's been about a year, maybe a little bit less. Mm-hmm. So if you tell your son, let's go work our land, he's his own individual. What do, you, what do you mean our land? I can use the word our when I'm talking about my family as well. That's what I'm talking about. Interpretation differs. So if I tell my son, let's go work our land, let's go build our house, we're obviously not one person. 
but it's ours. So our that's image. the family, correct? Right, family is one unit. One unit. Once you have but marriage, you become unit. one flesh. I agree with you. With different individuals, though. With yes. different individuals. Yes, three different persons. Right. God the Father, God the Son. God with, with <laughs> three different individuals in it. They're three different entities. No, one ten, one entity, three three personas. Three no, different no personas. No problem. No problem. It's three. It's still three different things. They're not the same. So so that's the part that that we're that, that I'm talking about. Like I'm I'm talking about. So when he says, for example, when he says when he starts to rise to the sky, remember, and he asks, him, "Where are you going?" He says, "I'm going back to my father." He yes. not said, "I'm going back to myself." Because he was always there. Of course, I'm going back to my father. Okay, so how do you process the Holy Spirit? What is it? Well, the Holy Spirit is God's active power. That that His active power. It's His active power. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I interpret the Holy Spirit. So when I had a pastor here uh, eight months ago, I asked him, "How can you describe me the the Holy Trinity?" He told me this. So, water, right? Ice is one. Vapor, number two. Yeah. And liquid is number three. Yeah. But it's all the same thing. It's just water. Just in different. Uh, that's that. I mean, that sounds that sounds easy. The other one said, "So the sun." That's his interpretation, though. The sun is God the Father. The light is the uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, the light is Jesus Christ, and the heat that you feel from the sun is the Holy Spirit. Okay, so explain to me this then. Okay, I I, I I'm with you. So I'm gonna need you to explain this one to me then, right? Because I got I got quite I got quite a few. Because I I knew it was a subject that we were gonna talk touch on, and I find it to be a very important subject. Okay. First of Peter three twenty two, who has gone into heaven and it is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers have been subjected to him. Okay. Exodus thirty three twenty. But you cannot see my face, for no one can see me and live. Because that was talking God the Father. Okay. Jesus Christ is not has been born yet. Okay. John six forty six. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from yes. God. Yes. Only he has seen the Father. Yes. So, so we agree that he's the Son of God, but at the same time yeah. he is the God himself. It's, I know it's very complicated. Mark ten eighteen. Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. Yes. No one is good except God alone. Revelation 22, 9. No, don't worship me. I am a servant of God, just like you and your brothers, the prophets, as well as who, as all who obey what is written in this book. Worship only God. These are all New Testament. John 16, 25 to 28. Though I have been speaking figuratively, though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming where I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my Father. And the day that you will ask in my name, I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father himself loves you because you loved me and he believed and believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. So how, so this is the Bible. How can you be God then say, don't worship me, worship God, and then say, I'm going back to the Father so Jews called uh, the God Elohim, right? Elohim. Elohim means God, but in, in Hebrew, right? Yes. But you know that, that the this thing, this word is plural. It's not singular. Okay. Just like Seraphim, the angel, right? It means they are plural. So who are those entities if they are not singular? Jesus was very clear about where he stood with God, though. I don't care about language of Jews. I care about what Jesus said. And in John 16, 25 to 28, he made it very clear. I'm, he said it at the beginning of the text. He said it. He says, though, though I have been speaking figuratively, meaning don't take that literal. Yes. A time is coming where I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my father. Why does he keep talking about a father if he is God? And then the Bible also says, no one has seen the father except who one is from God. Only he has seen the father. How can you see yourself? 
No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. I think that's a very clear definition that there's a line between the Father and the Son. So I understand as an entity, for Different example, persons. you're here yes. with your beautiful wife, with your beautiful child, right? You guys are one as yes. a family unit, yes. but your own individual people. Let's I'm not going to ask your son if I could walk into your house, even though he's part of this unit. I'm going to ask you because you are the head of the household, not your son. Even though he's a part of this household, he's not the head of it. You're the father. Let's say last year, uh, next year, you have a son. a son, right? Yeah. So you, Ricardo, Erica, and your son, you're the Achilles. Aguilars. You're the Aguilars. Right. That's one entity. Right. But three different persons. Agreed. So Jesus is not God. When he He's the son of God. When he becomes, for instance, 10 years old. What's your son's name? Ricardo. Your Richard. Son. Richard. Your son name is Richard. Yes. That's your son. Yes. He's not you. No, it's not. That's it. Jesus is not God. He's a son of God. In heaven, along with the Holy Spirit, he's an entity of one because they're a family unit. But he's not God because he's made that clear. Like, you, like, you, like, it's just crazy to me that Jesus says it himself. We, like, how are we going to combat that? Okay, okay. How, could, how can you process then turn the other cheek? Because if you turn the other cheek every other time, that's it. The world ends in a few days. Yeah, because but, the bad guys? Yeah, turn the, but yeah, because turn the other cheek because he, because he says now that you have to leave judgment to God. He's, but he says turn the other cheek. No, if I, I hit you, no, I don't agree. fight back. I agree. Turn the other cheek. I, I, and that one is hard for me to comprehend. However, he says let God be the judge of that. Bef right? Didn't the Jews have to turn the other cheek and the Jehovah's Witnesses whenever they were being persecuted by by the Germans and, the, and hit, they turned the other cheek. They didn't fight back because that's what God told them to do. The Bible is such a fascinating, fascinating book. So it's, every time you read it, you you understand something new, and a lot of even what Jesus said, it's in parables. It's not know. literal. I, 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 that's that's where I have trouble, man. I, I people want to make this more complex than it is, and that's the part that you know. First Corinthians eight five through six. Is that New Testament or Old Testament? New. New Testament. Paul's letter. For even if their so-called gods, whether in heaven, uh, in heaven nor on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is but one God, the Father. There is but one God, the Father, not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Father, from whom all things have come from, whom we live, and there is one Lord. One Lord. Jesus Christ. Though whom all things came through, whom we yes. live. Yes. There's a clear distinction and a clear drawn line between the separation of those two entities. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that Jesus is the Son of God, but not the God himself, right? That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus you said. You have nothing in common with Muslims. They say he's not even the Son of God. He's just a prophet. No, no, no. Uh, what, okay, okay. Here's what I was trying to get at with that. When I was trying to get you, to, uh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, 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 we went too far. My only agreement with Muslims is that Jesus is not God. Now, that okay. we don't agree with the rest of it, uh, that's what I said. That's our only agreement. From that point on, we don't agree anymore. Okay? okay. We don't, my only agreement with Muslims and with Jewish is that the only God is Yahweh. That's the only God. There, Allah. There's no, there's no other God, and there has never been another God. And it would be insane to me for Muslims to claim that Muhammad was a God. That's why it's insane to them for us to claim Jesus is a God. Especially when they can read and write just like we can, and they can read where Jesus said, was, I am not the Father. So you have to understand, I have a lot of Muslim friends. I do not agree with their ideologies. Okay? Not with all of them. Not with all of them. I agree with some of the way they, they, they do things, not everything. But if I'm sitting here as a Muslim, and even as a Jew, and I read your New Testament, I'm going to show these to you, and I'm going to tell you, Paulo, you're saying Jesus is God, but he's saying he's not. But he said a lot of things not in literal way. In parables. Okay. 
figuratively, I, okay. just like you said. So, he, but he says that. But he says so. That's the part that where 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 here's the part. John sixteen twenty five. Though I have been speaking figuratively, yes, he says it. Okay, so how do you process? Uh, it's easier to it's easier for the camel to go through the needle. It's head figuratively of the, speaking, yeah. <laughs> well, but how do you process it? So you have to give up your, all your easier, money to yeah. go to to heaven. Well, I mean, that's that's that, that's the thing that Apollo where <sighs> that's the thing, bro. Where interpretations matter. So mm -hmm. when somebody tells me I believe that God that Jesus is God, I don't get mad at them. I don't. I, well, I'm not gonna get mad at them. First of all, I know it's their belief. Okay, bro. I can understand to a certain extent how when you read scriptures, when he says, "I, I want to see the Father." Well, I, I you are you're seeing him, and, and you're right, me, and he did miracles. I can understand that. I can literally. I hope that you can understand that. I can understand I why told, you totally think you. that Jesus is God, but I hope that from a logical standpoint, you can also understand. Why I believe he's not, because he said it. So that's the. But he also said, if you want to see the Father, you ha, you're looking at him, you're yes. seeing him. So you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So so that's what I'm saying. So we can both do this all day long. The question is, who's right and who's wrong? We don't know. Ricardo, don't forget that the biggest denomination of Christianity is Catholicism. There's nowhere in the Bible it says that you have to have a uh, the Pope. Who's the first one? Brother, if I go down that route, this is going to be a long podcast. I've never met another religion that goes against God more than Catholicism. It's hot. It is what it is. Do not call anybody father over the over the earth. Yes. Do not make idols of anything. The saints. The only way through God is through me. I, I can do this all day. I can do this all day. I, I just, that's not a, a can of worms I want to open up because we're really going to blow up the internet when it comes down to that on, on this on this subject. I've never met another religion that, that does the complete opposite of what they say. I've never met another one. I, and by the way, respectfully to all your viewers and including my family because I have a heavy... They're Catholics? Heavily. That's why I'm not a denomination. When I was, in, when I was locked up, when I was doing time 16 years ago, when I was 20, 21, 20 years old, I was 20 years old, I had nothing but time. We were on lockdown. We went in, We had a riot with the blacks. When I came in, within a week, we were having a riot with the blacks. We were on a three-month lockdown. Okay? 24, 24 hours, uh, 20, 23 hours a day, one hour, one hour to come out and, and shower. Okay? You have to keep your mind busy. Yes. I read the Bible four times from beginning to end. So people, oh, you people, uh, are you this? Are you that? No, bro. I'm a person that reads the Bible and you're not. That's why you get emotional. Because you're not you. I'm not you. Because you haven't read the Bible. You only know what your mommy and your daddy told you. That's Catholics. That's that's Christians too, though. That's Christians too, though. Because to me, it's insane for another Christian to believe that Jesus is God. For me, it's insane to say you're a Christian or you're a Catholic and haven't uh, and haven't uh, and don't read the Bible at all. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, so that's just what I'm to celebrate so, Christmas. So, I've read the Bible. So when I'm like, huh. Do not call anybody father over the earth. Interesting. Okay. Do not make images of anything flying in the sky, anything on the earth, or anything under the ground, or anything in the ocean. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, this is this Hail Mary's and pray to this saint. The only way through the Father is through me. Hmm. Interesting. And they're introducing new and new saints. Every day. Yeah. Of, of humans every day. There's this kid that in Italy that... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so to me, that's why I have a... That's why me and religion um, don't get along very well. Religion. Religion. Do not get along very well. Not faith. That not was, faith. That was my problem. I always associ associated the religion with God. I thought that's, no. that's the same thing. I, I don't believe in any denomination. Right. I was having this debate with the other day with my mom. Right. She doesn't believe in birthdays. Right? In birthdays. In birthdays, like having birthdays. She's Jehovah. Uh, she's Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. I come from a family of Catholics and a handful of Jehovah's Witnesses, not a whole lot, just a handful. The majority, 99% of my family, 98%, 99% of my family are Catholic. And a few like apostolic, but very, very few. I come from a strong Catholic family. It's very simple. Mom, show me where in the Bible where it says that you can't have birthdays. Well, you know, John the Baptist was killed. 
I need to know. I need you to show me in the Bible. I don't need your ideology or what you conclusion you came up with because something happened. A lot of shit happens. Or where it says that a priest cannot have children. Where? I need to see it. Nowhere. And I don't need your answer to be the Bible's complicated. I don't need that to be your answer. I truly believe that I worship a God that didn't need me to go to school to learn how to read the Bible. Right? I believe that I serve a merciful God that he knew my human brain could not fully captivate Mm -hmm. complexities beyond my understanding. So I in my heart believe that Amiya, high school dropout, ex-felon, he made the Bible so where I could understand it. So if your answer or you resort to telling me that the Bible is complicated, therefore you understand that and I don't is the most offensive thing that you could do to me. <laughs> because you're telling me that my God didn't think about me. He only thought about your smart ass. But he didn't think about me, the dumb one. And I have a hard time believing that my, my God did not think about me, that did not graduate high school, dropped out my junior year to understand the Bible. I don't believe that. But you said a, gr- uh, a great thing. Your God is merciful. Yes. So if you start the reading Bible, don't stop. Because of if course. you're going to start, uh, start stop at uh, Deuteronomy or Numbers, yeah, you're, done. you're like, what? This, this is the merciful God? Right. He's uh, almost the killer. He wants me to stone adulterers, right. gays, lesbians, right. uh, the children that do not obey their uh, parents. Like, what? What is right. that? Right. So it's so crazy to me when Jew- Jewish people say, I don't believe in the New Testament. Bro, the, the, the Old Their Testament is, is violent then. It's violent. And yeah. even, we're not even touching the Talmud. That book, bro, it's, it's crazy. All the other Gentiles except the Jews in the Talmud are like dogs, pigs, right? rats, basically. You right. can rape him, you can kill him, you can have sex with children, I want to say up to three years old. So that's demonic. Right. I agree that's why that. read the Bible in whole up to the revelations and the revelation is a magnificent book it's an amazing right. book right once you i have no idea why it's not being a, a motion picture yet it's an amazing book just to make a movie on right right no i agree with you but i just the the the, the part that we have a disagreeing with disagreements with and i can understand but i i i um and i had a conversation with my muslim friend he says always like he always refers to the prophet muhammad the prophet muhammad said the prophet muhammad said the prophet muhammad said and i'm like i don't care what your prophet muhammad said any more than you care about what my Jesus said. I care about what God says. I don't care about what your prophet says. Your prophet was just a man. 500 years later. That, that came up with his own ideologies. You were not there to see what his way of life was. So I could just write a book now, you're going to worship me now? You know what I mean? Like, that, doesn't make sense. That, doesn't, that part doesn't make any sense to me. Hence why I don't worship Jesus. Do you know what was the youngest uh, wife of Muhammad? Nine years old. Six? Oh, six years old. How do you call a person when he, he marries a six marries a six year old? But God told him to. My right. God doesn't tell me to marry a, marry a six year old, yeah. nine year old, twelve year old. That was the times were different. Bro, no no no. If the times were different, for instance, I'm eighteen and five hundred years uh, ago she was fifteen. Right. Three years difference, right? Three, gap of three years. Okay, but he was in his prime, forty something, I want to say, or even fifty, and she was six years old. No, that that's not the God I'm gonna right. worship. But I'm say sorry, that we didn't understand their calendars, and no, don't no, no, no resort to that kind of crap, you know. So, but you know, and by the way, like I said, that's why I don't agree with the rest of it. I agree with some of the things in the Quran because I've also read the Quran on the way of life, respect, love, you know, treat. Like I get all that stuff. There's a lot of other things that the Prophet. It, 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 like to me, dude, I'll never talk to you about what Jesus said. I'm always gonna talk about what God said. And my question to them is: Is your entire book built only on what Muhammad said? Mm-hmm. I can't. I see. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't correlate there. You know what I mean? Just the same reason why I can't correlate with with Mormons. <laughs> You know, like the book of the book of John Smith. Like I can't, I can't correlate with you, but I also can't correlate with people that tell me that Jesus is God. I can't correlate with them. I can't, I can't connect uh, uh, um, spiritually, not spiritually, but I can't connect those ideologies together. But I, so I'm just. But we uh, read the same book. We do. But the Book of Mormons is this other book. The I Quran agree. is another book. With more reason, because we read the same book, there's more of a disconnect with people that think that Jesus is God. 
No, we have lots of comments. No, we I just, don't know. We I just have a I this nice kind of discussion, just, conversation. That's it. No, I agree with you. I just don't. I, it's harder for me to connect because how are you not reading what I'm reading? It seems like you're, I'm not saying you, I'm saying it seems like it's being cherry picked. So, so what, so what happens to all the verses I just read? They're just irrelevant now. Like I, I, I can't, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, have you ever ate Skittles? Yes. How many colors are in Skittles? I don't know the exact number, but is there one or is there multiple? Multiple. It seems like they just want to leave the purple ones out and eat the ones they like. I'm going to eat the purple ones too. That's the same. Hear me out. So that's the same, the exact th same thing as people saying that 9-11 is not an inside job, right? But we have the data to show it. But we have the, the, the information. They can't tell why Building 7 collapsed. Yeah. You can't say this was an, an inside job at the same time saying that Building 7 collapsed on his own. Why? That's the same thing. You can't say well, I'm a Christian. I, well, well, I don't agree with two things in the Bible only. Yeah. You have to accept it fully. Well, I understand that. But, but, but also, okay, but also Jesus said himself he's not God.